Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Division video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at crafting. Yes, crafting is in the game and the way it works is actually pretty cool. When you first set foot in the base of operations in the main room, you'll find this bench marked crafting station. And if you approach it and hold X to craft an item, you'll be presented with this screen. Down the left hand side are all your crafting categories and on the right hand side are the available options under set categories. So for example, you can craft things like weapons, gas masks, armor, backpacks, weapon mods, gear mods, and yes, you did hear me correctly, gear can also be modded, but only certain pieces, not all of them like weapons. Basically, any type of item that you could usually equip, buy or find in the open world can also be crafted. This does, however, only apply to stat-based gear, not cosmetic stuff, you can't craft that. But either way, there is still a lot of stuff to craft. Do also bear in mind that the crafting recipes I have here are very basic. These are the sorts of options you'll have at the start of the game, however you can expand this library by finding blueprints. Blueprints are located around the world and once you collect them, they unlock new crafting options. So while the options here aren't really that different to items I could just buy from the vendors behind me or find from random loot drops in the open world, some of the later options will be much more appealing. Also remember that once you have a recipe, it is there forever. So one of these smaller but slightly more useful options would be mods. Imagine for a second you get towards the end game and you have, say, a really good scope that you love but you don't want to have to keep taking it off every time you want to swap weapon. By having the crafting recipe or the blueprint, you can simply craft another one, and you then have two, as opposed to having to rely on RNG to give you a second one, you simply make it yourself. But that aside, how does the actual crafting process work? Well, if we select a recipe, take this Black Market T821 for example, you can see at the bottom of the screen that it has a resource requirement. In this case, we're crafting a weapon, so it requires weapon parts. Armor requires fabric, mods require tools, etc. You can get these parts either by deconstructing items you have, so for example if I deconstruct a weapon I get weapon parts, deconstruct some armour I get fabric, or alternatively located around the world you'll also be able to find crafting materials among a wide variety of other things. It is also worth noting that crafting materials much like gear and weapons also come in different rarities to match, grey, green, blue, purple and yellow. Dismantling that colour item gives the corresponding colour crafting resource, so again dismantling a green weapon will give you green weapon parts. There is also a material conversion section at the bottom of the list and this basically allows you to create higher tier crafting materials from lower tier ones you have. So for example it might be that you use two green items to create a single blue item or two blue items to create a purple item. And this is of course useful if for example you don't want to have to go and dismantle a legendary or a purple weapon in order to get the corresponding colour item. But this obviously goes to illustrate that if you are lucky enough to find a legendary blueprint later in the game, you can indeed craft legendary items. Either way, once you have the parts you need, you hold down A to craft, and job done. You have successfully crafted an item. The really cool thing about crafting is that the only cost associated are the resource items. There is no money involved at all. So if you were, say, saving up cash for an especially nice gun, for example, and needed something to fill in the gap, you could simply craft a weapon at no extra cost, provided you had the resource items. And that's pretty much it. That was just a super quick look at how crafting works in The Division. If you guys do have any questions, then by all means, let me know down below. And also comment down below and tell me what you think of the crafting system. And while you're at it, it'd be super awesome if you could drop a like on this video. Plus, don't forget to head over to the channel if you haven't already seen them. I've got a video on character creation. Also, a video talking about the beta dates. And over the coming days, I'll also have daily Division videos for you talking about loads more stuff from all the videos that I captured. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.